they was mad. But see, there was only two of them. They you know? were mad, they were. That was, you should know that. No, you'd have been okay because you Because are... I am a lawyer. Yes, and during the week you cover up those nice gnarly tattoos with a gray flannel suit and make a nice steady income. Oh man, Tom Stubbs would love hanging out with you boys. Mm. He may be a politician, he may be a politician, but he ain't no square. Smoke day? Oh, hell yes. Put some mescaline in with the weed, Dave. <laughs> so I'd be very careful if I were you. <laughs> you could be tripping for days. I could handle it. Oh, yeah, I fucking love you, man. Oh, Jonathan, look at this guy. This is Dave, Dave Grossman. By day, top lawyer at Shysters. By night, a knight of the road battling the very corporate forces he represents. Hey, Dave, are you a bisexual? <laughs> Very funny. I didn't think right. so. I guessed you just like cock. Jonathan, bong hit? Nah. Hey, Dave, forgive me, man. Would you fuck off for a second? I gotta talk to Billy. Uh, please. Dave. Uh, Up, Dave. Uh, thank you. You look serious. What's next, man? Documentary team in here? You gonna write your autobiography or something? He's cool. He's a lawyer. He can help us with shit. He looks like an asshole. Right now, I think he's tripping his face off. Whatever. Look, dude, you and me... Shit seems kind of tense lately, doesn't it? It's kind of lame. Have I offended you in some way? No. Then what do you say we put all this shit behind us and have some fun? Because <laughs> life is pain, brother, and through this life, through this brotherhood, we can give the pain the finger. Yeah, you can yeah. Get pain. yeah you're right. No. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Where? All right, all of you, let's go! Let's go! Let's Our go boys are getting jumped. Right, ass, boys! Go. Hello, beautiful people. It's me again. It's the Lost and Darned. Welcome back. That's the E-rated version of this game. Anyway, I guess we got some uh, some men are being mean to our men, and we're gonna go uh, uh, shoot them, probably. Uh, so anyway, this is I'm doing this with live commentary. I can't even remember the last time I recorded a let's play with not post commentary but here I am I thought this being a a blind run of this little DLC game uh, it would be fun to actually do a let's play the way that people do let me know if you want to see my uh, my face cam <laughs> in future videos of this it would that would basically just make it look like the streams and the, the let's play these let's plays are supposed to kind of be uh, you know the the counter programming to the stream format because the streams are fun but I understand that not everybody is uh, that some people prefer uh, this sort of style of video for me for playing games and whatnot um, but I could still do it. I don't know, it's what all the kids are doing now. You put your face on the thing and whatnot. Alright, shooting time. Uh, I forgot to get off the motorcycle button. Okay, can you blow this up? Well, you can blow that up. Oh, yes you can. You can blow it up. It's gonna blow up. I'm just gonna... Wait, come on. Does it not blow up? Alright, whatever. Alright. Where are you, red arrow man? There you are. Click, click, click. Okay, with my luck, this thing's gonna blow up when I'm near it. Oh well. Oh, 
Hello. Get him in the head. There we go. There's a guy above me. Is there a man in the sky? Oh, yep. We. Good. Oh, and this is... Oh, sick. Alright. This is what my commentary is going to be now that I'm doing live cam... Carmentary, by the way. I can't give... Oh! I can't give my, uh... <laughs> my beautiful, well-thought-out, uh, pre-written thoughts on things. You're just gonna have to... You're gonna have to deal with me being like, Ooh, gun! Ouch! But that's what you... That's what people love about... Uh, video gaming videos. This guy doesn't even know that I'm here. Okay, there's another guy up here. And now there's not. Hey! You can't go there. Don't get on your bikes. Oh, you're getting off your bikes. Okay. I should try... It would be fun to do, like, a pistol-only run of GTA 4. I think it would be eminently possible. Probably not even that interesting of a run, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. But maybe, I don't know. There's some parts where you gotta shoot a lot of guys. Okay. We did it. I'm gonna blow that up, too. <laughs> don't run into it and die, please. Oh no, I think that could be fun. A melee-only run of GTA 4 would be fucked up. That would probably be more funny, but I would get a lot less done. Alright, now it's time to motorcycle away. Also, I gotta say, in that cutscene that we just watched, um, Billy's face was really good. When he was, like, smiling and laughing at the guy when he was smoking the laced weed, that was... It was a good laugh. It was a good face. I don't know who Billy's voice actor is. I'm saying the right name, right? His name is Billy. Um, I, uh... Hey, fuck off, dude. Go faster, idiot. You're out of line. Shut up. I hate having to stay in the logo. Why don't you go fast? Learn how to be fast. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I like Billy's voice actor, and... I'm not going to say I like Billy as a character, because I don't really know much about him yet, other than that he's a mean biker guy and he's epic. But, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, he's, he's got a fun, wow, lots of more, uh, guys to click on. Amazing. Uh, he's, he's got funny bits so far. Ooh, that guy's burning. Ouch. Um, and I don't know, he, uh... I'm not even behind cover, I'm just like... I don't know what that guy's problem was. Oh, hello. Please die. I forget what I was fucking saying. I was saying, Billy, he's funny. I don't know. I think his voice actor is good, he's got a good voice, and he reminds me of somebody. He reminds me of some actor and something. And I do not remember who it is. So this was really worth me trying to say this. But maybe one day during this LP I will think of who I'm thinking of. Please. I'm just like a pixel away from hitting him. There we go. I didn't kill him, but I got him. Okay, where's this dude? There you are. Where were you that whole time? You silly goose. Is that another guy? Are you friends or foes? I think you're blue. I'm not. I'm not gonna shoot you anymore. <laughs> he was very forgiving about me fucking shooting him just then. Hello. And there's another. Oh, right there. Let's try to get him. I like to try to get as many headshots as I can. He just killed himself with stairs. He f he was it had like half his health, but he just like snapped his neck on the stairs. What a fucking way to go, man. I'm really, I'm like, I've only had two beers and I'm really sucking at hitting these guys. I think I'm also just, the shooting is ever so slightly different than in GTA V, which I am much more used to, the shooting in that game, than I am in four. Okay, where in the sky are they? 
I didn't know this is a much more like extensive shootout than you get in the early game of GTA 4. I guess that's kind of part of the fun of a of a DLC type thing like this is that you don't have to I mean you do have to introduce some things, but you don't have to introduce like basic game mechanics and there's kind of an expectation that you've played the main game so you know they don't have to like completely baby you through the beginning they can start you off with some shooty shoots and uh and it's not gonna scare you too much oh uh, yeah boys fucking rolling out you guys really need to ditch the shotguns i know that they're like cool and it's like, uh, you feel like you're in a Guy Ritchie movie, but it really just slows you down. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, officer. <laughs> uh, it really just slows you down. Oh, I love orange o'clock. I love, uh, golden hour. Uh, but yeah. So I hope everyone's, uh, doing well. It's uh, Tuesday night when I'm recording this. I'm probably going to be putting it up Wednesday morning. Uh, the world is exploding. I'm not going to get into that. I do want to, maybe on stream I'll rant about it, or uh, just during one of these videos, if there's one that I'm doing post-commentary for that, uh, you know, doesn't have a whole lot going on, and I feel okay just ranting about other shit for 20 minutes. Uh... I do want to, I have a lot of things to say about things <laughs> that have been going on the last few months, and I want to just get them off my chest, but I don't want to just start doing it. So, uh, I'll do it at some point. Like I said, maybe in a stream. Got the election coming up, I could, you know, if I'm doing another election stream, which I might, uh, I could always pontificate during that. But, um, I've been having a mostly good time. It's been a pretty busy week. I'm sorry that I'm talking over this cutscene. I don't really fucking care about it. I like this, uh... This bottle looks like it's made out of gold. And doesn't have any liquid in it. I just uh, drank beer too. To be... Uh... Solidarity. Brothers for life. It's more important than ever that you follow your leader. And that... Is me. Remember. Yeah. I'll see you boys back at the clubhouse. Was he talking to me? But yeah, I want to do some. Uh, uh, are we? Are we going? Oh. Okay. Bye. You all just fucking disappeared. Oh, goodbye. Horses is playing. Um. But yeah, I want to, I still have not fucking streamed, <laughs> I've just not been in the mood, um, but I want to. I've been wanting to get the boys together for like a Let's Watch stream, but we, when we tried to do it, it just didn't work out. People did not fucking show up. I think everyone else has been like not really in the mood to do anything also, so uh, not much I can really do about that, but maybe I could do some just on my own. I put up... what? How do I get out of here? <laughs> I always forget how you leave this place. I mean, this looks like a... no. I need the map. Um... How do I get up there, though? Fuck it. Okay, the opposite way. Okay, I don't know what Terry said, but I can go to this thing that looks like a logo for, like, a Chinese restaurant. I don't know why that's the first thing that came to mind. It's a racing helmet. There's a race. Do I go there right now? Okay, well, I don't feel like doing that right now. Um... Yeah, I put up that video on my main channel. It's funny to call it the main channel when I barely upload on it, but I haven't uploaded on it in like two years, and I want to start uploading, I want to start doing Let's Watches on stream and then uploading them as videos uh, on that channel, and then I have some other ideas for that channel as well that I would like to maybe start doing soon when I have them more ready. Um... 
But, so that was just, like, me sort of sending out feelers, you know, to see if anyone was still interested. I feel like the response was mostly lukewarm, because it was just me, uh, and it was with very little fanfare, and it wasn't, like, me making fun of a child or doing something related to Spongebob and Walter wasn't in it, so people don't give a fuck. But, can I, oh, that was weird. So where did you get them from? Uh... But anyway, that's my thing. Hey, it's fucking uh, Ray Spaghetti. I remember him from the video game Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> wow. Now, see, I like how you did that. It was very good, very clever. Almost like a joke, you know, only it wasn't funny. Johnny, you met Ray? Hey. Ray Botino. Hey, my brother, Johnny. Johnny the Jew. Johnny the Jew. How the hell are you? Do me a favor, help keep this degenerate out of jail, all right? At least until he's paid me. I'll do my best. Yeah, later. What's he selling you? Toys, my boy, toys. I know I've commented on this before, but it's very funny, and this is true in GTA V as well, even though that game, you know, I feel like there's a big gulf graphically between 4 and 5, even though this game... This, uh, Lost and Damned and Ballad of Gay Tony, I think only came out, like, two years before GTA V, but obviously still on the same engine and shit as 4. Um, but I don't know if there's any, like, real graphical upgrade between this and the main game. Someone who is more knowledgeable about video games, and this game specifically, can tell me. Uh... Shit. Now I forget what I was saying. I think you got me confused with Brian. He's the one who's permanently I was paying attention kind of to the game and then I I don't know, I started thinking about something else. Can everyone get out of my fucking dick when we're doing this, please? That's one of the main reasons I'm not always in the insignias because these bitches don't know how to turn. They all get up in my shit. Let's see, I was talking about the Let's Watches. It's over, I'm never gonna remember. Look, I'm the only one who's fucking keeping up. These these hoes don't know how to do anything. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, uh, about the fucking drinks. In this game and five, whenever they pour alcohol, it just looks like uh, they really can't get like liquids to look good uh, in like a glass in video games. It's very hard, I've found. It always just looks like like gelatin, you know. It looks like a weird gelatinous mass. It doesn't look like uh, liquid. Because they just have to make a texture that's like a weird flowy thingy. Which is weird because I guess water, you know, that you can like swim in, that's a, like a big body of water in a video game, is like a very different beast in terms of like both like textures and in terms of like making it move in a way that looks good and, like, natural. Uh, I feel like it's very different than trying to make something that looks like a liquid sloshing around and being poured, a small amount of liquid being poured into a container and moving inside of a container. I think, I guess that's just, like, a very different beast for, like, a rendering, for, like, real-time rendering than, uh... A fucking ocean or lake that you like swim in. You know what I mean? Or maybe it's not. Maybe maybe the ocean in video games is just a big pile of gelatin that looks better because it's big. But uh, I don't know. I don't know anything. I've been trying over the last year or so to learn more about uh, how like computer rendering of graphics works and what. I thought we were all getting off our bikes. Oh, fuck off. I needed to be on the bike to start the cutscene where I'm not on my bike at the beginning. This game is stupid. What do you want? What 
Rockstar is so dumb. They love doing shit like that, where it's like, no, you have to be on your bike to, to begin the story. I it was a pole or a serve or something. We got some bad information, brother. These are the guys. They killed that kid, and look at you. You're acting like you don't even give a shit. You sick or something, man? These deadbeats killed Jason? Yes, they did. Now, take one of these grenades and put it through their window. <laughs> the Almighty forgives, Johnny. Is, is Jason the man who fucked the Russian, who fucked uh, Faustin's daughter? Fire a grenade. Ooh, a grenade launcher. Okay. Pew. Alright, are we doing a shooting? Seems like it. And we're in auto cover. All of the fucking uh, Cletuses are very angry at us. There's one. And there's a two, maybe. No, I'm hitting boxes. Oh, there we go. And just uh, riddle him with bullets. Can you get your uh, face from out of there so I can shoot it with a gun? There you go. And uh, I think this is, they want me to do this for that part. Uh-oh. Whoa! Big boom there. Come on. Whoa. Still booming. Hey! Hey, motherfuck. Hey, Billy, can you get your fucking face out of my gun, please? I feel like I've hit these guys like 25 times. That guy just walked into fire. What an idiot. The AI on this game is perfect. Video game AI should never get good. It should always be this way. <laughs> I'm just continuing my belief that we should have stopped making video games after like 2010. Did he say it's you or me in the exact same way that Nico does? Uh. That's funny. Holy shit, it's, it's been fucking head-clicking central in this game so far. I'm not complaining about it. I like this. I want to get, uh, one of the GTA games, you should be able to get the air cannon gun from No Country for Old Men. I love that part. When he goes into the motel room and shoots the guy and his, like, fucking arm dangles is so gross. I remember having such, like, a visceral reaction to that when I first saw that movie. Are you just casually burning in this hallway? <laughs> okay, great. Okay, I probably don't want to go over by the burning body. I think I'm meant to go down here and... Ooh, I'm in the gym. And I've murdered... And there's a couple more guys I need to murder. Billy, I swear to fucking Christ, you're gonna make me shoot you, man. Ooh, the bags. It's one of the best things in GTA is when you get the bags of stuff that you take. I do like in 5 when... Uh, in the heist when you get to like press A to get the money and you put the money in the bag and you try to make the money go up or the gold bars or the diamonds what is he doing with his face <laughs> that's gonna be the thumbnail either that or Billy's face from the beginning is gonna be the thumbnail for the video I don't I know that like I bet that if I made like custom thumbnails with my fucking dumb face in them or even just like a dumb edit of the stuff in the in the video or like Johnny's face and some text and stuff and if I made my titles my video titles like 
uh, I, I guess we uh, work for uh, Billy is crazy. GTA 4 Part 2, you know. Uh, I, I'm sh I think I would see a noticeable increase in my engagements. And this is how you know that I don't give a shit about that stuff because I refuse <laughs> to do anything other than just fucking let's play this game part number. The thumbnail is one of the YouTube generated thumbnails of something from the video. And I try to make it like a generally... Uh, try to pick the most generally like visually interesting from a a zoomed out perspective like from from far away or at first glance as possible sometimes i'll even take a screen cap from the video when i you know if i find a moment that i think is better suited for the thumbnail and none of the three that youtube gives me are any good um yeah, uh, but that's that's about as custom as I get because yeah. So I I'm perpetually stuck in like 2012 let's playing because that was the golden age. Go see Liz Torres. I think I knew someone named Liz Torres in uh, in my early days, <laughs> in my in my younger days. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm sure there's a, probably about 500 million people named Liz Torres. Those are both this very common first name and surname. What do you want? Send you a link to the Deadbeats website. Check it. I don't. I really am not interested in engaging with the greater lore of this game right now. I'm being a really bad first playthrough guy. Because, I don't know, my first playthroughs of most games, I just want to, like, get them done. I just want to, like, get to the end and see what the game is. And then I feel like I can, like, look at the game. I can zoom out and look at the game as a whole. What are we all doing? Uh, and then, you know, if I play it again, that's when I kind of, like, start smelling the roses a little more. It's not always the case. There are some games where I, like... I go at a very deliberate pace. I mean, even Red Dead 2, I feel like I was pretty mostly story-minded, and I, I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of the, like, story details in the world, but I was... I, I did allow myself several hours of my playthrough just for vibes. Like, I, I was just kind of either dicking around or, uh, you know, just doing, like, all of the optional cowboy chores that you don't need to do. Good to see you, man. What's the trouble? Take a guess, bro. Might have something to do with those cops that pulled one over on us. I figured. The way I see it, we got two choices. Either we buy a big tub of grease and prepare to take it from these fat pigs the rest of our lives. Or... Or we head over to the clubhouse. Close to where I happen to know they got themselves set up, and we show them that we're not quite the bitches that they think we are. Well, well tempted as I am by your first option, I'm going to have to go with the second. I figured you'd say that. It is interesting, and I mean, we're still at the beginning. It's still early days, so I don't know if this will be a thing forever, but this isn't even ludo-narrative dissonance. It's just narrative dissonance because uh, Johnny is like, whenever he's with Billy, he's like, can you just calm down, man? Whatever happened to when we were just vibing and riding on motorcycles and having fun? Oh, or racing? Oh, okay. And, uh, and then, yeah, whenever Jim is like, hey, uh, do you want to do something, like, really risky to anger a rival gang and, do, like, for fun? And he's like, uh, well, it's pretty stupid and, and not a good idea, but yes, I want to. And I'm, I'm not saying that there can't, you know, people contain multitudes, you know, I, I understand but I feel like that tension in his character hasn't really been communicated. And again, it's early days, maybe that'll change, but just what I'm... Just something I have I have observed from the first hour and a half of this game so far. Okay, so we just uh, beat up a guy 
That was pretty funny. And now I've been shot like six times. Holy fucking god, let me just uh, crash my shit into everything that I can possibly hit. To stay in the bent cop sight. The bent cop? Why do I want to stay? Hello, honkers. I would l <laughs> It would be so great to go to a real strip club called Honkers. Oh, shit and fuck, okay. Um, I'm just going to the yellow dot. I don't know if I need to be doing something. I'm too far from the bent cops. They need to follow me. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I think they can see me now. Because I can hear them. Are they... Where... Okay, yeah, no, they're like... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, alright. <laughs> I thought they would be like marked on the map, but no. Let me guess, we're going to shoot some people here. When I get to this thing. Yep. Wait, so I was just bringing them here to shoot them? I could have just shot them. And then I wouldn't have to shoot like 400 of them. Ooh, I got like a. I got like a super quickster pistol. I didn't. Pistol? Fucking pistol. Uh oh. Let me. Maybe this would be better. Mmm. Not really. Ooh, you know what would be good though? Is this. This would be helpful. And it'd also probably be helpful to not be standing in the middle of gunfire. Alright, well that, I don't know if that killed anybody, but it gave him a fright. I kind of like this, this fast pistol. It's kind of nice. This pistol. It's like the epistles from Paul. That always got a good chuckle out of, uh, out of the boys in Catholic school whenever we were talking about the letters from St. Paul, the epistles. They'd be like, yeah, piss, and pisses. He was pissing on the paper to Jesus. Can you get out from the beam, guy? I want to shoot you. Okay, we're done. Good thing I parked my bike over here. Is that a cop? Wow, you don't give a fuck at all. <laughs> it's none of my business. I don't even have a gun. Alright, so now we just get out of the wanted zone. Oh, we didn't even have to do that. Alright, easy enough. Okay. I guess I don't really need to go to the gun store, because they have gun in my bike house. But I'm going to go anyway, because I, I mostly just want to buy armor. There might be armor in the clubhouse also, but I don't care. And the thing is, the gun store is marginally closer, so I'm going there. Okay, so I guess we got... Oh, fucking, I didn't even... My stupid-ass brain didn't even put it together that Liz Torres is Elizabeta Torres. Fucking idiot. I was just like, oh, cool, a new character in The Lost and Damned, a girl named Liz. And I was like... I just now, when I looked at the E, I was like, oh, hey, Liz, that's kind of like, fucking moron. <laughs> I have, ugh, it's amazing that I can survive. Well, excuse you, I was clearly driving there on my motorcycle. Very dangerous to do that. I don't remember this place. Is this what this looked like in the main game? Can't be. Let me just rub up on the door for a little bit. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I never even took a good look at this guy. Is this what this guy always looks like? Could have sworn he had short hair. He's got a lost MC thing on. Hello. 
I wish he said some uh, cool motor man, motorcycle man thing to me. Is this what I have? No, I guess I have a special thing. Can I buy this? It's probably like five billion dollars. Twenty-five hundred. Uh, I don't really have that much money. I'm fucking broke. Man, being in a biker gang does not pay very well. What about this? This is probably even more, right? Yeah. Alright. None of that. Then... I think... Yeah, I don't think any of this would be of much benefit to me. Maybe... What about the Uzi? I don't know if it's an Uzi. It's, an, it's a micro SMG. I really, I prefer the other one. And I kind of want to just... Fuck it. I'm not really, I'm probably not going to run into, like, money problems nice. buying this. Classic, reliable, and, and then I am buying some ammo. Great. And I got $2,300 on me, some spending money, I got some walking around money on me, and now I will go to Elizabeta and I will try to eat a hamburger on the way. I will look, keep my eyes peeled for a burger. America should just have burgers around for free that you can eat and they heal you they give you hp like in a video game i've said this before many times on stream in videos in polite conversation private conversation with friends at work um i've i've expressed this many times that there are several things in gta and in video games like video game logic things that I think would be really cool to be in real life. And one of them is the idea that if you get shot or injured badly, you should be able to eat a hamburger or a hot dog. More, preferably a, a burger, just because... You good, bro? Alright. Ah, uh, he's just drunk. Oh, alright. Um, my boy, yo, you good? That video is so funny. Uh, I've, uh, uh, hot dogs. Yeah, the hamburgers. That's one. You should be able to eat them and they, like, heal you. Like, it heals your broken arm or whatever when you eat a hamburger. Another one is there should be coins lying around. I think it's bullshit that you need money to do stuff, but you can't get... Imagine if there was a video game like that. Imagine if there was a video game where you had to do annoying shit for eight hours before you had even a fraction of the money you needed to do just the basic things you need to do in the video game. That would suck dick, but that is how life is. But luckily, in most video games where money is a thing, there are plenty of opportunities to get money where you don't even have to do crimes or nothing. You can f just find it. You can find money on the ground. You can kill a man, and he'll take money. He'll take his money, and then and you're done. You have money now. And I'm not saying that. I don't think that's good. But I think we should just. There should be like a thing in the government where someone leaves coins out. <laughs> around and they're like special coins and you can trade them in they're legal tender you can like use them at places or you can trade them in for cash money and uh it would just be for anybody i'm sure it'd be, it would get fucked up though i'm sure some some dude would like fucking get slaves to like patrol the cities to find all the money and, like, bring it to him. Like, people would fuck it up. I, you know... It's, uh... You can't have anything nice. We can never make life into a video game because people are, uh, meanies, unfortunately. Okay, this is probably the last one I'm gonna do because it's been going on for a little bit of time now. 
I couldn't even hear the music, so I, I thought they were just doing this. But yeah, it's Elizabeta and it's Playboy Cardi. <laughs> Imagine if Playboy Cardi was in this game. That'd be cool. Listen, I also heard you got somebody for that brown. Maybe. There's an apartment on Cassidy Street in Shortler. You go upstairs and talk to Charlie on the third floor. There any heat? When isn't there? I got a new guy going Does he have like is his face like is his face texture separated? At, look, yeah, look, you can see when he moves this thing, there's like a crack in the side of his head. Yeah, it's like coming out. What the fuck? It's like a, it's like where his scar kind of goes. You barely hear this music, and you're all wearing puffy jackets. Oh my god. Hey look, it's the cutscene from fucking... The... from the game. I like how he just sat there. <laughs> I like how he was like, "No, nah, I'm good. I'm I'm going to sit on this couch and wait to be part of the cutscene in the other game." Anyway, this is weird because I thought we like go somewhere with like Nico goes here with him in this mission, but I don't think so. I guess we meet him there and do some shit. I'll, it'll all make sense in a minute. This stuff is cool, because I do like GTA 4, <laughs> the main game. And so this will be, uh, all the little crossovers will be nice. I would kind of prefer... I do like the, um, the multiple protagonist thing in 5. Uh, but I think it would be kind of fun to have a GTA game or some other open world game, but it's, you know, specifically a GTA game, I think, um, that basically does something like this, where it's like GTA 4, Lost and Dan, and Ballad of Gay Tony, where it's different protagonists, but they are, you're, you can, you're playing completely different stories that overlap with each other in some ways, but they're not like interacting with each other in the way that Michael, Trevor, and Franklin do. You know what I mean? And you don't, like, switch between them during missions. I, I guess that's, like, a little less dynamic, so to speak, but I feel like that would be more fun for, like, the open world aspect. I guess the thing that would be kind of weird is that, you know, you might have to, like, switch and do certain parts of one character's story and, like... One character's story would, like, come to a standstill until you do another part for another character. Give me that shit, man. We gotta um, I, I don't know. I feel like that wouldn't be that big of a deal. I think that would be an interesting idea to have, like, a thing where it's like, all these stories, they come together, you know what I mean? Hustler on the street would take you for the little pussy that you are. Rob you blind. Give me that shit. See you around, big guy. Go to the building. In a balding. I just spilled beer all over my face while I was, uh, <laughs> while that cutscene was going on, that little dialogue bit. I'm fine now. I wiped my face with a napkin. But yeah, I was I was finishing it, and so I was tilting it back, and I guess I, I I misunderestimated how much beer there was left in the can, and it all it, uh, dripped on my face, and I and I looked like a bum. Wait, can I drive my motorcycle up here? Oh, what? I can't I can't push the door in and go in. Pfft, lame. Lame. I wanted to drive my motorcycle up here. It would have been funny. Can you still... Okay, good. You can still jump up the thing. Wait here for Nico. Wow. This is just like the game. See, this would be fun. And yeah, this is the thing. Well, like In my idea, 
these sorts of missions where, um, you know, they overlap in this direct way, you could like pick which one, you, you know, you, you pick which character you're playing and then you end up doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, uh, you know, what perspective you're playing it from or whatever. You don't do it multiple times. You, you just like, you come into the mission Maybe that's how you would square that circle, is that stuff kind of just happens how, however it goes, no matter what you've done with different characters, and you know, you've, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe there's a game that e that does this, even. I, I can't imagine it's that novel of an idea. This is great, because they got to just reuse cutscenes, except they probably didn't. They probably had to... Oh man, I'm glad I got this gun. But I thought so. This is in an alternate universe where Nico didn't shoot any of these cops. In GTA 4, you play the universe where he shot all of them, and uh, and Johnny disappeared. It doesn't look like I'm meant to be like going anywhere in particular or whatever. I guess I'm supposed to escape. I don't know if I'm just like holding off the cops. Or what? Um, oh, hello. And, uh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, we're just doing the thing that Nico does in the in the regular mission. All right, we'll just make our way down the stairs. No big deal. Seasoned GTA 4 veterans won't be phased by this. Is this a back door that I can go out? Oh, still got guys. Okay. I think there's more dudes around here. Oh, oh they're all over there. Okay, let's run into a beam for a little bit, and I think we're going to have to contend with some cop cars here. They're coming up. Oh, oh, they're shooting. Get in the car. Steal the car quicker. Okay, this is uh, not a very good car. But I will make it work. Uh, and I will burp into the mic. Oh shit, there's another fucking guy coming. Okay, let's try to go this way. And then over here. And then up, and then to the left to get away from that guy. And I should be good after that. And then that should be good in just a second. Fuck yeah. Alright. Why this camera looks like it's really close. Whatever. Alright, pretty good. <laughs> Look at this little thing. No, Billy, we're not. What we are is under observation by some kind of LCPD drugs task force. Fire was a pig. Hell, Johnny, that's not kosher. I'll call you when another buyer's lined up. Sounds good. We're moving up in the world, Johnny. There's a congressman. Need your help. Tom Stubbs the third. I told you keeping that lawyer around would have its uses. This guy's at one of them dumbass gentlemen's clubs in Algonquin. The kind without tits. The jousters. Politicians and lawyers? What are we becoming, man? Next thing you're gonna <laughs> tell me we're doing We're becoming squares. It's just opposite the Libertone. I wonder if that's gonna be some foreshadowing. All right. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. But I uh, wish you all a wonderful beginning of October. I'm excited for fall time. It's a good time of year for me. Um, I'm getting out of this tiny car. Anyway, uh, yeah. 
that'll be it for me for now. Next time we will do S. Stubbs. Whoever that is. And we'll do whatever he needs us to do. So that'll be next time. Part 3. Oh my god, what do you want? Liz Torres. It was good to see you, Daddy. Yeah, only no problem way. was your friend, the UC. He nearly blew my ass off. <laughs> How's your fancy European friend working out? Okay, okay. Seems your like fancy you European friend? Not working for the state. Him and the lost MC. Me and the brothers are tight. I hope so, for your sake, Johnny, you know. <laughs> See you soon, baby, huh? All right, cool. Anyway, yeah. Lost and damned. Next time. See you then. I love you. Goodbye.